Today in Across the Fence, check out these handcrafted items made in Vermont by Vermonters. We're highlighting the Vermont handcrafters and their upcoming annual fine craft and art show. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us. I'm Judy Simpson. Since 1952, the Vermont Handcrafters Annual Show has been a holiday tradition. It's opening this Friday for its 66th year. That's quite a tradition. To learn more, I'm joined by Handcrafters Director of Events, Elizabeth Boudreau. It's nice to have you back on the program. So good to be here again. Now, tell me a little bit about where and when is this year's show? Well, this year's show is at the um, Doubletree. Mm -hmm. Changed its name, so we want to make same sure. Same place. Yep, same place as the Sheridan, but it's the Devil Tree. It's mm -hmm. the weekend right before Thanksgiving. Okay. The third weekend, um, or yeah, third weekend mm -hmm. this year. <laughs> and it opens on Friday, um, and it's going to be from 10 to 8. Uh huh. Saturday, 10 to 6, and Sunday, 10 to 4. Terrific. Well, um, 66 years is really quite a tradition. Tell us a little bit about Vermont Handcrafters. Well, it's the oldest juried um, Vermont artist organization in, in the state. Mm -hmm. um, it is, every member has to be a Vermont, a Vermonter. Every, every member is juried, so we look for the finest, um, best, good quality, but we are very inclusive. We're not exclusive, mm -hmm. so we really like and new artists. Um, it's just a great, it's a tradition. People start their holiday shopping, coming, you know, to our show. It's really an exciting, it's like the opening of the holiday <laughs> season. It is. Now, I know you have 250 members. Oh, we do, yeah. yes. And how many will be uh, at the show? We're full to the brim again this year. Mm -hmm. 160 artisans will be displaying. There'll be 160 booths. Um, we filled the whole double tree, the exhibition hall downstairs, mm -hmm. the promenade, the diamond, the emerald room. A lot of new artists, a lot of young artists. We're very excited. What do you want viewers to know about this show? Um, well, it is, uh, when you come to this show, I, the minute you open the doors, it's mm -hmm. exciting. Mm -hmm. And you know, you are seeing the best of Vermont. Um, the, the artists, local, your local friends and neighbors who are working really hard to keep, you know, the arts vibrant, fine craft, art, it's, it's just exciting. And you'll find everything there. Now, this has been a tradition to have you on to talk about this show oh, every year. So as you said, it's the kickoff to the holidays. Yeah. So let's take a look at some of the items that you've brought as examples of what folks will see at the show. Well, let's start with the traditional maple. This mm -hmm. is Richard and Pam Green. They're of Pulteney. Vermont, it's Green Sugar House, and in here, this is like a gift package, and great for shipping out, you right. know, I mean, if it's you have, if, if you want to give people something, a taste of Vermont, but you know, you, then you have to pack it up and you have to ship it. This is done. This is done and ready to go, and it has everything, candies, uh, maple sugar, you know, mm -hmm. that's unbelievable. This is a jam, this is blueberry jam to go on your uh, pancakes. pancakes with your maple syrup, granola, and this is balsamic vinaigrette. Mm. So, oh my God, everything. Yeah. So that's really exciting. Then over here, we have Basin Reclaimed. And this, these guys are from, this is Molly Mombach and Jesse Billadu, and they take all barn boards. This is slate. Oh, wow, okay. That they've cut mm -hmm. to um, make these gorgeous designs. And probably an old slate tile. Yeah. Oh, and they just take all kinds of um, recycle things to do it. If you can look behind us. Yeah, right here. Here's this is example. one of their bigger pieces, which is absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yep. And again, with this, the slate stones. Yeah, it's so uh, and the moon, how it picks up all the colors. Terrific. Yes. And then, and then even a smaller item, I know, dangling from your earlobe. And they do earrings, which are just beautiful. Mm -hmm. I love them. So they're very diverse. Um, their work is fantastic. You're going to love their stuff. All right. In front, oh, let's do right over here. This okay. is um, the little boo-boo pack. I'm going to go right around you while you talk about okay. it and hold it up. So the little boo, -pa boo pack is naturally yours and I've already it's already helped with the boo-boo I already cut my <laughs> finger while setting up for this and these are great because you put them in the refrigerator or freezer and then whenever there's a bump or a bruise yes uh, if you have children you know these will get well used that's going right to my granddaughter who nice. loves monkeys isn't that cute and they can be heated as well yes yes nice all, all of the above terrific 
And we also have um, in front of me here is, uh, this is CB Metalworks, and they do these beautiful cutouts um, out of metals. Mm -hmm. uh, they love the inspirational thing. That is Brian LaPointe and Carmel Blanchard of Williston. They also have these birds that are up a little bit higher, mm -hmm. ornaments that you can purchase. They're terrific. Aren't they gorgeous? Yeah, really kind of a different thing for your Christmas tree, which yeah, is really nice. Yeah, it's unusual, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yep. And also we have, um, they do these gorgeous, let me find it. It's a tree oh, of wow. life and it's heavy gauge metal. Isn't that beautiful? I just think this is fantastic. Great for a wall. And this is on um, our card. Mm -hmm. You can see there's a design on our postcard this year and our poster and it's one of the pictures is the tree of life. Terrific. We also, out front um, is Sarah Rosedahl, mm -hmm. and she's from the islands, North Hero, and she is our chicken lady, <laughs> <laughs> and she's got a great book called What the Cluck. Let me hold that up again while we're looking at this. Can you, uh, oh, that would be perfect. Yeah. So she does, see the What the Cluck, that's her mm -hmm. new, that's a, um, a fun view, uh, beak, a tongue and beak view of the world today. <laughs> she also, that's a tote bag, the mm -hmm. yellow right chickens here. tote bags. She has coloring books that are um, difficult chickens and all kinds of fun things. She does cards um, and she has paintings. Also, her tote book is um, was done by Sloggers. Mm -hmm. That's her print uh -huh. that they have that she let, let them use and she did tote bags, aprons, and she'll have some new things this year at the show. For the poultry lover on your list. For the poultry <laughs> and just the fun. I have one of those aprons. I just love it. One of my favorites. Terrific. What do you have next? And so next we have um, a t-shirt, the mm -hmm. green t-shirt with the bird on it. That's right here. Long sleeve. Yep. This is by Ellen Howard and the fabric of this t-shirt oh, so is beautiful. Yeah. She hand dyes everything and then she paints on them so they're all done by hand. You know that's one of the great things about Vermont Handcrafters. Is I was going to say it really um, makes it a unique show. It is a unique show. You're, uh, there are things you're never going to find any place else that are at our show. And during the show there are also lots of things going on, events. Oh we do, we have lots of things. Uh, starting on Friday, if when you come in, mm -hmm. you can um, put your name in for our uh, our prizes, our hourly giveaway. We have a whole table just like this, mm -hmm. full of wonderful, fabulous items that our artists donated that are their work. Every hour, we draw maybe two to three names, and I call them out through the microphone. And if you win, your name is, you pick your own item off the table. Wow, that's a great deal. We do it all three days. It's our way of saying thank you for supporting us for all these years. We also have daily demonstrations. Um, Friday, or not Friday, sorry. Saturday, <laughs> we're going to have... Um, uh, Oh Evelyn Gant. Uh, thank you. You're Evelyn welcome. Gant, who does the bobbin lacing. Yeah, if you've never seen that done, it's amazing. That is amazing. And last year, there was a little girl who sat with her and got really got the hang of it. Really? Oh, you because know, she loves all the interaction with everyone. And then um, we'll have Carolyn Guest on Sunday, and she's going to be doing sheep shearing. You know, uh, using sheep as a cut paper, which I love her work. Oh, isn't it? great. It is terrific. And she does all these beautiful designs. And these are both age-old traditions that, you know... You just don't see every day. You don't see every day. So they'll be there both days. Uh, they'll be there each day from 10 to 4. Okay. So you stop in and see them. They'll be in the lobby. Terrific. All right, let's move on and see some more items here that you've brought. So um, I also have down front, you can see um, the tiles and the dishcloths. These are by Allison Chase, and Allison um, is from Richmond, and she now um, devotes her time full time to her wor work that depicts the floral and fanta, and these of of her native Vermont. Mm -hmm. So you can see, isn't the design Irisons beautiful? And poppies, yeah, they're yeah, beautiful. She does other things, floor cloths, all kinds of different home accessories, and I don't think she's been at. She's been a member for a long time, but mm -hmm. she has doesn't always. Ha show at the show. Yep. So she hasn't been for a few years. So guys, don't miss her. Right. This is a big opportunity. 
And up here on our little table up here, we have a beautiful little print. Right here. A watercolor. This is by Shanley Triggs of Milton. And she does tons of, she does just beautiful Vermont scenes, uh, landscapes, barns, foliage, Lake Champlain, plus beautiful floral designs like this. Now, the, also peeking in that shot is something really cute. <gasps> when I never thought I'd say I want a mouse in my house. Oh, yeah. But I have to say these are adorable. I love a, a mouse in the house. Yeah. <laughs> Look Can at you them. see these? Yeah, they're teeny, but they're so cute. They're hand-blown glass. These are glass sculptures, and they're by Tress, uh, Tessa um, Hill. So cute. And they're glass. Yeah. Aren't they adorable? They oh, are. my gosh. And then she did, you can she hold up jewelry. the bee. I'll hold this up. If you can see this. It's a bee necklace. It's a bumblebee. It's beautiful. Whoops. Yep, for uh, all those beekeepers, right. my husband being one of them, maybe I should have had that on instead of the butterfly. Well, I don't know. The butterfly is pretty dramatic, too. We'll show that on your, your necklace. Yeah, I have a, her beautiful butterfly that I'm wearing today. Isn't that gorgeous? It is. It's, it's all stunning. blown glass. Mm -hmm. You can't, oh, can't help but love them. Yeah. Okay, what else have we got here? Um, oh, we have this gorgeous pillow. Do you see the pillow? I do. So... Do you see the pillows? <laughs> it's right here, Elizabeth. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so this is um, this is by Marion Schultz. Um, oh, Marion, I'm going to uh, see Schultz. There mm -hmm. we go. And this is um, batik fabric that she does, and she, then um, she tie dyes. She does batik. Uh, she does these. Oh, I have her vest on. Also, she does a line of clothing, which is just gorgeous. She does, when we get a little further on the table, I'll show you a few more things that okay. she also does. Beautiful. But we can do that. Oh, yeah. The, I just, isn't this gorgeous? I think this might be a keeper for me. Yeah, I think so. It's Every it year, you know, you. I got to have a new thing, something right. new. Um, now we go down. Oh, you know what? I? While we're right here, I'm mm -hmm. going to talk about the painting, the multicolor. Yes. This year at the Vermont Handcrafters, we are doing a young artist booth, which we are so excited about. We want to encourage young artists mm -hmm. in Vermont. So if you are um, in sixth grade or above and you're, you have a relationship to a Vermont Handcrafters, they will sponsor you. So this is by Tess, Tessa. Um, and she's going to be at the Young Artist Booth, Tessa Folsby. She's 12 years old, and she's from Milton. And we have another one of her works right here. Right here. And she's going to have cards and other things to show also. Then Terrific. we have, let's show this one. Okay. Then we have this. Okay, I'll pick this you up. Pick you pick that up, and I'll get this. This is by Connor. And you said this young man is 11 years old? This guy is 11 years old, Connor Byam. Um, and he taught, started taking art classes when he was really young, as did Tessa. And uh, Tessie, not Tessa. And um, so he really found his for comics. Mm -hmm. So he now has, um, he does his own little series in the Winooski. He does uh, paper. So he, uh, that's called um, Syrup and Cows. So he'll be there. And we have a couple minutes left. So let's oh. move along to make sure that we get as many in here as we can here. Okay. Left. So Arnica, which is all of this beautiful um, stuff right here. Bath this salts and so forth. Beth Gad Boys, mm -hmm. and she's out of, um, Stowe, Vermont, and if you've never tried Arnica, mm -hmm. it cures everything, so it's really great. And right here, who do and you that have? is, um, uh, oops, they're gonna, ah, uh, um, oh, Kristen Richland, sorry, beautiful. yeah, and she has a does a beautiful cards too, mm -hmm. just like that. Well, yeah, if I'll you can see, a, yeah, yep, that's her cards. She's an illustrator. She'll be there also. It's actually, it's beautiful. That's terrific. We should remind people that um, if you want more information about the 66th Annual Vermont Handcrafters Fine Arts, uh, Fine Craft and Art Show, here's the information. It starts this Friday, November 16th, and runs through Sunday afternoon, November 18th. All three days are at the Doubletree Conference Center in South Burlington. For more information, you can call toll-free 800 
373-5429. And check out the website, vermonthandcrafters.com. You'll find a list of the members and you can preview more of the items that you'll find at the show. You can also print a discount coupon for the show that's available on the website. That's our program for today. Thanks for joining us. I'm Judy Simpson. I'll see you again next time on Across the Fence.